President Raul Castro will soon head to the United States to address the United Nations General Assembly. It's the first time he's been there. He's expected to use his speech to put more pressure on the U.S. to end its decades-old embargo on the island nation. CCTV's Michael Voss has insight. Raising the American flag in front of the recently reopened U.S. Embassy in Cuba marked an historic breakthrough in relations between these former Cold War foes. And on the streets of Havana, many are hoping that better ties will help boost the island's struggling economy. President Obama has eased trade and travel restrictions, but only the U.S. Congress has the power to end the decades-old trade embargo. At a press conference on Wednesday, Cuba's foreign minister warned that the embargo remains a major obstacle to improved relations. I have expressed our appreciation and recognition for the position taken by President Barack Obama with respect to the blockade. But it is not possible to have normalization of bilateral relations while the economic, commercial and financial blockade exists against our country. U.S. President Barack Obama voiced the same desire Wednesday. For now, what, uh, what we've said is that uh, we will step by step look for areas and opportunities within our authorities. As long as Congress still has the embargo in place, there are certain things we can't do. Mr. Rodriguez said the accumulated cost of damage to the economy over the years was more than $120 billion and that the embargo continues to bite. Cuba's president, Raul Castro, rarely travels abroad, but he did go to Panama earlier this year and held this historic meeting with President Obama at a regional summit there. The two leaders could meet again at the United Nations in New York later this month. Both are due to address the General Assembly on the same day. It'll mark Raul Castro's first visit to the U.S. since the Cuban Revolution half a century ago. Cuba will once again present a resolution to the United Nations calling for an end to the embargo. Now everyone's waiting to see how Washington will react and whether the U.S. would abstain rather than vote against it. Michael Voss, CCTV, Havana.